Uh, hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is me solving Q3 of the recent contest. Minimum swaps to arrange a binary grid. Um, so this is actually kind of a tricky problem for me to actually understand just reading the problem, right? Um, but the, the key observation for this problem though is just knowing that uh, the only thing that matters for a certain row um, and the, all the rows are independent, right? So for a certain row, you just have to keep track of the last one because that's the no good zone, right? So then for me, I just did uh, a greedy of sorts, insertion sort, uh, where for each, so it's greedy. Um, I don't have a good, to be honest, when I submitted this, I wasn't super sure because it's greedy. I don't, I didn't have a good proof. Um, but the idea was that, okay, for each row, um, find an, uh, the earliest number that uh, we can swap it up, right? So because, and we want to prioritize the earlier thing that satisfies the current row um, because that just allows fewer swap and then it pushes everything down. Um, so I did it in a very clunky way, to be honest, in terms of implementation. But the idea behind that is just that, uh, okay, so for each row, I, I keep track of the last place that, um, you know, the last column that uh, occurs on that row. And then for each one, I go, okay, if we haven't used this, oh yeah, we, we haven't used this row yet, uh, and that it is, um, it, and that this, this, the last one satisfy the diagonal thing. So that's what the I is. I just keep track of the diagonal because, because the first diagonal is at zero, then the second one is at one and so forth, right? So that's how it, it keeps track. And then we just take the first number in which this condition is true. Uh, we add up the swaps, we set it as being used, and then we're done here. Um, otherwise, if this number is not used, we in, in, increment the number of swaps because that means that we're going to take one number lower and then that means that we have to move up at some point later on right and because the number of swaps let's say you take the fifth row uh the number of swaps to get from fifth to the zero would just be you know the number of rows you skipped um and also if if none of the remaining rows are good then we just return with negative one because that means that we just couldn't create a thing and at the end we just sum it um yeah let me know what you think uh you could watch me solve this problem live right up about now. <laughs>
Two, two, one, zero. Green. We move a zero up. Okay. Okay, I think What? Come on. 
Wow. Hm. 